All right, so as promised, this is going to be the tutorial on how to use triggers. There are some things that you need to know um, that I'm not going to cover. Um, this, uh, the text matching uses the Lua pattern matching. So there are special characters in Lua. Um, it's a programming language um, that need to be escaped out. And I want to cover that first just to make sure you're aware. And this is a simple trigger that looks for the text of cast in brackets uh, and then plays um, a single sound. Um, so you can see here there's a little percentile symbol. Um, what that does is it escapes the next special character. So if you have a bracket or a parentheses or a period or a dash or a question mark and you actually want that character, you need to put the percent in front of it. In fact, if you are, if there's a percent in the text and you want to get the percent as the percent sign, you need to do percent percent and that'll do it. So um, if you need more info on that, I would look up uh, Lua pattern matching. Um, it's pretty easy to use once you've seen the uh, tutorial. But um, so. Uh, we'll start with this one. This one's a pretty simple one. Um, what it does is, as I said, it just looks for cast. You can see down here I did a cast for a fireball. Um, and then it'll pick it up. And this, basically anything, uh, any spell that goes off, this is going to be triggered. Um, which uh, may not be what you want, but I wanted to have a default sound so that even if I don't have a sound configured like I do for all these individual ones, there will be something. Um, so it does mean that when you trigger, say, this one, uh, you're also going to get the sound for that as well. Um, and that's why <clears throat> for this one I picked a pretty quiet and short one. So it kind of goes with everything. Um, and you'll see. So let's, gonna, let's, let's start off with some simple things before we get too uh, deep into it. Um, a magic missile. We've got that here. Um, we've got this guy tar this orc targeted there's no real um uh, you know magic missile doesn't need a save or anything so this one is just gonna cast it very simple sound and on th on this one what it does is it has the look for cast that we did on the other one but we also want to look for magic missiles so if you want to add another match if you want to have multiple things match before the sounds are triggered you put them all in here you can put as many as you want um this one only has two um the first thing it's it'll, i mean it, it won't it doesn't matter the order that these appear in it'll look for both of them if they both appear it'll trigger whether one's first or last it's irrelevant it's just going to look for both of them um, so if you wanted to add another one you just click the plus it'll add another line if you want to remove one do that uh, but in this case it looks for cast and magic missile and you can see in the text down here there's the cast in the brackets and magic missile text um, and so what it does is then it randomly picks one of these things so if I cast this again and then again yeah, that was a little different it picked another one I picked three different sounds um, depending on how your random goes you'll get you'll get what's there um in this one i figured magic missile is pretty simple so we'll throw on a couple extra ones to give it a little extra flavor um there is also mess melf's acid arrow and this one is pretty straightforward there is no random it plays a single sound the acid spray And I have um, it set to look for this text, Mel's Acid Arrow. I mean, in your case, if you're using 5 it would be Acid Spray or whatever. Uh, and then Cast, like I did with the other one. Yep. And then Cast, Magic Missile. Cast, Mel's Acid Arrow. And then we'll say Cast Sleep 2. And all that one does is make the default sleep uh, or a default cast sound because I don't have a custom one for sleep, but I do have an effect um, or a sound that triggers off the effect being applied. So if this is applied to something, mm. 
it triggers the sleep sound or sleep sound yes um, you can see here what I'm looking for is effect and slept and then these this sort of dash because it's applying it to something it's not being removed it's going to something so if I look for that all three of those slept effect and that it'll trigger and in this case every time you apply that to something it'll trigger something else uh, that you may have in your games um, and this will come to uh, people will know what I'm talking about uh, but say you have three things and you want to apply sleep to all of them like this used to um, in some of the other versions of uh, or some of the other sound audio tools it would have triggered that three times I have a rate limiter that'll keep it from triggering the same sound within I think it's a second and a half or two seconds so it'll only let you trigger a, the same sound every two seconds that way you don't get bombarded by like if you have you know you targeted 12 mobs and you hit them all with fireball you don't hear all 20 or you know 10 saves um, in this case like if we did cast fireball which I'll do Hear the fireball sound spell go off, and then you see the three fails. Let's try to do it until one of them saves and the rest fail. Nope. There we go. So we had a success, a failure, and the spell go off, but we didn't hear multiple versions of success or multiple versions of the fail um, from the same cast. Um, just the the rate limiter I, I noticed it because in AD and D there's a lot of times where there's a lot of monsters it may not be an issue in some of the other versions of the game but um, so I put the rate limiter in there it seems to be working well for me um, there is also something else that I do that I think is useful um, I'm and you guys might notice this is this is my combat tracker for uh, 2e um, the 5e one looks different but as far as the functionality it's all the same you see I'm just ticking through players uh, going to the next actor when you get to the end it does a little bell my players know when that sound goes off they need to roll initiative again AD and d rolls initiative every round 5e doesn't I think there's an optional roll for it um, so what it does is it looks for let's see round alert it looks for the text of round a number and then a bracket and you can see in here I use this what is this weird sort of percent D plus and what that does is it looks for any number um, of any length so it could be round 3000 um, as long as there's a bracket on the end this sound will trigger and I didn't really have to do the percent D you could have just said bracket round um, and left the rest off and more than likely that would have been fine for most people um, and then it plays the ship spell let's see so I also have uh, attacks set up. So if uh, let's untarget all these guys, just get one. And you can hear he missed with a melee weapon. Um, and if you sort, I, I put them in different categories. You can put them in whatever type you want to get the categories you want. Um, this is the way I have it set up. But uh, sword hit, sword miss, sword hit crits. Um, but this is the case that we just had right now is a miss I look for percent miss and then M in parentheses the M is what tells me that it's a melee weapon if I really wanted to I could trigger off of the text of the weapon like what type instead of this um, but it depending on your rule you know whatever rule set you're using some of them may not have all that on one line it may be split multiple lines like in this case club is not on this line so I wouldn't be able to I could match on this line anything in this line but I, it wouldn't tell me if it was a miss or a hit based on that line it would this tells me if it's a hit or a miss so depending on what rule set you use I know there's some Pathfinder 2e guys asking um, them to move some of the variables around so that this can trigger um, but 5e is um, the most popular but I don't I don't know if it has the melee or ranged uh, in the actual hit line but you'll have to find that out but there's also uh, one for crit we'll fake a crit mm -hmm. 
And so you get a little ooh noise um, and the sword critical hit. So the way I have it set up is default, there's a critical sound, which is the, the people making the ooh noise because it's awesome. And then the critical hit on the sword makes a long sword crit, it's a squelchy sort of splicing sound. Um, I also have some sounds for, let's hit this guy with a long sword. And I use the Wilhelm uh, cry for when damage exceeds hit points um, or when they die, that sort of thing. So um, that, that's something that you can use. Um, this is the one that I have set up for that. And it looks for damage exceeds hit points. Um, you can do the same thing. Um, I put a slight delay in here so that it kind of happens after the damage has been applied to the thing and people can kind of see it before it actually goes off. Um, sometimes sounds will uh, trigger before the other depending on how the caching is working on the, uh, your player. So. But that's, that's uh, there's also one other thing that I did uh, that was uh, this. No, no, that's too much. I did that, um, and that triggers based off when it's out of ammo. Uh, and I wanted just some kind of a notification uh, for whenever the uh, a person was using something that they were out of ammo with. Um, and this is a pretty simple match. You're just looking for the out of ammo text, and then I trigger that audio. But you still get the hit or miss sounds afterwards too. So that that covers pretty uh, much most of I think the situations that you'll find. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, um, let me know, and um, I will try to cover those topics if you have any of them. Hope you found this useful.